Yeah, what's your name? My name's John. Um, don't have any wrestling experience. I'm a big fan. Um, former football player. Just too small to keep on playing football. I've always loved wrestling. Um, I finally got a chance to come down to school, so I'll try it out, see what it's all about. All right. Let me tell you a little bit about the school. We work very close with the WWF and some of the other big promotions, but the WWF we have a really good working relationship with. Now, I'll be honest with you, the percentage of the guys that go on to the next level, the WWF and the big three, is very small. All right, guys, I want to go over the liability release you're going to uh, sign in a couple minutes if you, can, if you want to continue with our school and go on. What it means, basically, is red wrestling, somebody always gets a, a bust their nose and they're going to split their lip. That's a free stitcher right there, man. This is what we call paying your dues. Oh, man. And you get bumped and you get bruised in professional wrestling. It's going to happen. I guarantee you, after the first couple of days of practice, a couple of days later, you're going to be really sore. It happens. That's all i got to say today. And uh, if you guys want to go upstairs, there's some guys practicing right now with Tom Howard, one of our teachers, the best teacher in California, I believe. Okay, guys. All right, man. Thanks. Have a nice Hope to see you guys. We'll see what happens with these guys. New students just watching one of Tom's practices can be hard, but for John Cena, the choice is easy. I wish I had gotten some tips to come down to this school earlier, but I've always wanted to do it, and this is, you know, this is a chance. It's a chance to do it. For every promising young athlete who falls out of line, there is another hungry young hopeful ready to take his place. The ex-football player from New England has been in class for only a few weeks, but he has caught the eye of Rick Bassman. John Cena is a star in the making in, uh, in, in every way, shape, and form. And I know that uh, talking like this, it, it puts a lot of pressure on him. But to me, he's the kind of guy that thrives on pressure. But John has what it takes. I mean, he's got the look. He's, uh, he's got the attitude. He's got the personality. I already busted open my eye. Just all part of the game. You know, that's what happens when a punch goes awry. Good. Nice. This is real good. Can you, can you teach me? <laughs> Seriously. You buy a couple muscle magazines and see these guys that look like superhuman. I had those pictures of the guys on my wall, and every day when I woke up, they were there. Every night when I went to sleep, they were there. Every time I work out, they were there. I pretty much got that vision in my head. And by the time I was a late teenager, I decided I want to try to do my best to see what I can do to look like them. Good. Oh, come on. One more. One more. Let's go. Good. Bracket. Good set. Today we're stocking up on the essentials. Each container is an omelet. That's a week right there. Two for meal. This is good. Usually I'm going through about 40 pounds a week, so we're going to stock up a little bit on this stuff. Only skin is chicken breast. 35 pounds. That's the meat for the week. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's our job to get you ready. All right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to get you ready by doing it right here in this room. Okay. So let's go, man. Sell us big. All right, IPO. May 24th, you're going against the smooth one, Billy D, okay? That's right, because uh, I'm so smooth, I can walk on water and I can get my platforms wet. Hello, boys and girls. I am Smelly, and I'm still proud... <laughs> Guys, if you get stuck in a promo and they put something on you and you're live and you're buying time, you do, buy time by psyching into your character. If you're a tough guy, start growling and grimacing, you know, make some faces, do whatever it takes, you know, shrug at yourself, ready while you're thinking. Don't make it apparent that you're thinking and don't say whatever you do, please. <laughs> and tonight I'm going to show you people a real Russian power. I'm going to keep his ass. That's how you say people, right? This is America, and I'm a crush is coming for me and you. John Cena is developing a character called the Prototype. How dare you, smelly, mock, an engineered genius like the Prototype. I look in your genetic lunchbox and find a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the crust cut off. Understand this, you, like the rest of the humanoid scum, 
look into these eyes and you go from a wrestler to a victim. Understand when you get in the ring with the reigning UPW champion, you have no chance. I am 50% man, 50% machine. You are 100% fatality. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's not much to uh, <laughs> not much to uh, critique about that. A few weeks later, the prototype takes the next step in his career. He debuts on a live Ultimate Pro Wrestling card. So I'm up next. Okay. 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 He'll perform in front of a select audience in the world-famous Roxy on Sunset Boulevard. His opponent will be Mark Smelly Bell and Jenny Looney Lane. The birth of the prototype is starting to bring John success both in and out of the ring. I'll do anything to sell your car. You get in the ring with me. You got a deal, buddy. Come on. It's Joe versus the prototype. The Joe is the massacre in the oh, hole. Oh, the human. But wait, Joe's okay. We have a deal. One of the highlights of a graduate student's curriculum is travel. This morning, 30 UPW wrestlers will load up in a bus. Tonight, Ultimate Pro Wrestling debuts in San Diego. As a kid, I was lanky, I was skinny, I was, I was a dork. Uh, I used to get picked on all the time. All the kids used to make fun of me. When I was a kid, I was a complete nightmare. The biggest brat in the world. I was such a curly-haired brat. I was a tomboy and um, a loner. I'm still a loner. What's he eating? What are you eating? What are you making? I'm making nothing. I'm eating enough. Chicken what? Protein. Say we're done, pal, all right? A few nights.
nights later, the best of the UPW students are slated to perform not only before a live audience, but also an internet audience. To our knowledge, at least, this is the first live internet broadcast in the history of pro wrestling, so it's somewhat historic in that sense. Uh, there's been a ton of work put into technology tonight. I won't try to explain it because I don't understand it, but I know that if you have people that you told about this in Philadelphia or wherever, they can watch you tonight. It's pretty cool. I do know for a fact that top people from WWF, WCW, and ECW are all watching the show tonight. You got all their tickets. All right. Can you right hands, guys? The stakes are even higher because the WWF's top scout, Bruce Pritchard, will be in the house. When, uh... humiliated in front of a crowd that I was supposed to dominate. Smelly cheated, obviously. This was a fluke, and it will never happen again. Cut the damn tape. Bruce Pritchard said you had a good match, and uh, that's appreciation enough for me. I think that that's great. He said, good match, that's a good match. So I'm stoked. On this night, Team Hardcore, Rio Storm, The Sadist, and The Prototype absolutely popped the crowd. But for... Several weeks after the performance at the Galaxy, a package was sent to the UPW headquarters. Inside were contracts from the WWF for Team Hardcore and John the Prototype Cena. Also, a surprise. A new contract for Tom Howard. To make it in the big leagues takes hard work, a high threshold for pain, and a certain intangible talent. Which one of these UPW wrestlers will be next? <laughs>